is problem number 7, and it says find f prime of x for f of x that equals 2x squared over the square root of x plus 1. So here you're really just utilizing all of your derivative rules. Um, and again, there's two ways um, that you could do this. You can use the quotient rule, or you could bring the denominator up to the top as a product and use a um, product rule, but we're going to use the quotient rule right now. So the quotient rule, remember, is the derivative of the high. And I'm going to actually rewrite this um, bottom as x plus 1 to the 1 half power, because remember, those are the same. So we're taking the derivative of the high, which is going to be 4x times the low, which is x plus 1 to the 1 half, minus the derivative of the low, which is going to be that 1 half x plus 1 to the negative 1 half times the derivative of the inside of that, which is just 1, all over our low term, which is x plus 1 to the 1 half quantity squared. Alright, so with this, we can do some things first. Um, oh, sorry, and here I forgot, because we did the derivative of the low, and then you need to times it by the high, which is 2x squared. Alright, now it's Okay, so we have the derivative of the high times the low minus the derivative of the low times the high all over low squared. So that's our quotient rule for derivatives. And now we can simplify some things and then pull some things out to make our lives a little easier. So these twos can cancel out. This one half to the squared will give me just to the power of one. And also I can go ahead and pull out, I see that my term here as x plus one the term here has x plus 1, you know, because this is all multiplied together. So I can take out my x plus 1 term that has the lowest power, or it's the greatest one between the two of them. And so this, it's going to be x plus 1 to the negative 1 half. So I'm going to take that out. And that leaves me here with 4x times, and then because we took out a negative 1 half, that's like adding 1 half to this power, and so it's going to be um, x plus 1 to the 1 half plus 1 half, which is just 1, minus, we took out this, this is just 1, we simplified that, so all we have over here is x squared, all over, and sorry, this is 4x, all over x plus 1, because 1 half squared is just to the first power. So we're going to bring this guy down here, and that will give me um, x plus 1, three halves on the bottom because this is, remember, to the two halves plus a one half. It becomes positive when we bring it down to the denominator. Plus one half will give me two halves plus one half is three halves. So now I just have up here to distribute. That's going to give me 4x squared plus 4x minus x squared. So this gives me 3x squared. So my final most simplified answer is going to be 3x squared plus 4x all over x plus 1 to the 3 halves power.